Sunday today so I kind of have a bit of a chill day today um, the only thing that I have to commit to is I work later at 4 so I ought to be at the gym for that um, and then I also wanted to talk to you about um, my school and the things that I do at my school what I'm involved with at school um, and yeah a little just a little bit more about actually being in university and talk you through that kind of stuff and share um, yeah, what I like about being in school and all that good stuff. So I study environmental science. It is the combined program, so it's environmental science and studies. I get a lot of questions about what environmental science is, which is kind of funny to me because it's it's something that's talked about so much in some ways and then not talked about at all in other ways. So a lot of people are talking about being more environmentally friendly, being more sustainable, um, living a healthier life in that way, you know, not impacting the environment as much through daily activities, all that kind of stuff, which is awesome. It's something that's, you know, obviously really good and obviously something that I'm trying to follow. Not perfect by any means, just in the beginnings of starting to, to realize that stuff and to educate myself. Um, so that I can educate other people. And really that's where it starts. I think the biggest thing that I've learned through this degree and talking to people about being in environmental science is a lot of people just really don't know and haven't been told or communicated to properly about what environmental science means. And a lot of the messaging just gets really confusing and mixed up. Um, yeah, through a lot of my classes, I think that's like one of the biggest things is that people just don't know. And <clears throat> it's true that some people won't want to learn. <laughs> that's just a fact. You just kind of have to get over it that some people just won't care. They won't want to learn about what you're trying to teach them. They won't want to change their habits. And that's a really hard thing um, to kind of accept and to kind of like go through because it's hard for anybody when people are like telling you they don't care about anything that you're telling them to do right now or why you're telling them to do it or anything and they don't care they won't care they just don't care about the environment at all they won't change their ways they just don't don't care um yeah another thing that's <laughs> hard about environmental science is it's a very dense degree. It's heavy to learn about just in general. Um, a lot of people decide after being in an environmental science or study or resource science or like any of those kind of things that they don't want to have a career in it because it's truly just really dense. It's really heavy information. And the reason why I say that is because it's broad concepts in the way that you're just learning about how horrible people are to the environment. And like what we're doing is just so bad every day and everything is horrible and it's getting worse and it's not getting better and no policies are going through and we can't get change on this and there's no action going forward on this and even when we try and do this it doesn't work because this person doesn't like it and like it's just dense information it's hard to to hear all the time because you think you have like this great idea and you can put your entire career's worth of work into trying to implement this new solution and won't go through, it won't work, policy doesn't work, public acceptance isn't there, education isn't there, so people aren't understanding. It's just very hard to go through and a lot of people like are seriously just, I don't want to say depressed, but in a way it's very depressing because it's, it, it's really just about like how people suck, <laughs> how horrible as that is. 
It's just, you're just really learning about how horrible the environment is and how bad people are to it and how people don't care and trying to change things is not as easy as you think it is and so it's a it's a very intense subject to learn just for the conceptual like ideas of what you're talking about i'm not saying that it's the hardest thing obviously a lot of other degrees you know are practically harder like engineering and doctors and all of the like really things that they have to memorize and learn but learning about environmental movements and environmental um, like actions are hard in this broader sense just because of the the sheer material and weight of the concepts that you're talking about so anyways having said all that i personally love it i love being in school i love my program i I'm so glad that I chose to be here and to be studying this and um, I just absolutely love it because despite all of that like hardness of learning it, there's also so much positivity. I mean, I think people don't see the positivity enough because negative comments just in general are, are spread around so much more than positivity and it sucks and I want to be one of those people that can try and just spread more positivity honestly so having said all that there is so much positivity and so much hope that you can find in environmental science and in anything really but specifically in environmental science it's just you can look at it from two ways because you can look at it like the professors and the TAs and the people that you meet that are studying this and have been doing it for 40 years or whatever you can look at it as in you've been studying this one subject for 45 years and we're nowhere closer to solving the issue this is dumb i'm not going to see that change in my lifetime why would i bother studying it it's just so negative so horrible it's never going to fix itself and that's it like i'm not going to do it but you can also look at it as i have hope for 45 plus years that i'm going to make a difference something that i do i'm going to study it we're going to write a book about it we're going to we're gonna solve the world problems and even if it doesn't happen, I'm gonna try in my lifetime to make a difference and to try and have hope that somewhere in my lifetime I'm going to see this big change and see this revolution and just like see everything come together the way that I want it to and like finally like we're believing in like humanity that it's all gonna change and there's just so much like hope and positivity and optimism and so many people don't have that mindset and that's why they find it so difficult to be in a program like this or a degree like this and to try and even conceptualize that you can have a hope like that so yeah that's a little bit about my program i guess um but i i am looking right now um in focusing on waste management and that's something that I've just gotten into this year um, and I'm getting a lot more passionate about it so that's something that I'm more focusing on furthering my um, knowledge of that kind of area of environmental science but again because my degree is so broad and I am taking a wide variety of courses I can really go anywhere with it which is super super nice um, so yeah so Oh, I'm in third year. I know I like kind of went over this, but I'll just say it all now. So I am in third year. Um, my degree is four years, so I have one more year left. And it is currently March, which means that exams are coming up uh, right at the beginning of April. So we're heading into that, that time, which is terrifying, but also exciting. <laughs> um, because now I get to you bring you guys along with me and hopefully gain a bit more viewers and stuff like that following me through exams learning more exam tips um about being productive about studying well about making revision notes all that kind of good stuff which hopefully i can share with you guys that will be helpful for any of you that are going through exams at the similar kind of time what else about school i do work at the gym that is on campus um so I work today, I work at four. Um, so I will be there. I love working on campus because most of the people that you're working with are students, which is super nice. And most of the people that you're interacting with are students. Now our gym is different in that it's open to the whole community as well. So you're interacting with an, 
entire like huge range of people because the community um, offers a lot of like senior programs and stuff like that so we have a lot of the of seniors for sure a lot of varsity teams and then a lot of students and then we also have like kids programs and stuff like that so you're working with literally all ages which is so nice um, and interacting with a bunch of different people but also your co-workers are students like you so a lot of the things that you can talk about are what you're doing in life how your programs are going are you stressed me too let's order pizza i don't know like just it's just super nice in that way so yeah so i work on campus um i love my school um i'll put in clips about what my school kind of looks like and stuff like that so you guys can kind of get an idea basically my school is known for um well it's called the school of the environment that's what we're known for so that's the biggest reason why i chose to come here um i did not grow up in this city i grew up in london somewhere else which is just like outside of toronto not the cool London, but whatever, what can you do? Um, and where I go to school now is in Peterborough. It's a smaller community for sure. Um, but I love that I didn't stay at home for school. I know a lot of people <coughs> ask me why I didn't. Um, for me, I needed to get away I think and just experience living on my own and being at a place that's far enough away from home that I could go home for you know a couple days but I can't just go home for a night and I kind of like that um I am close with my family for sure um and we talk like over the phone we text all that kind of good stuff but um I am definitely not like a extreme homebody <laughs> so it's good for me to to have moved away and be living on my own and I love it. Um, I love living on my own, for sure. It's, it's taking on a lot of responsibility, but I'm so glad that I did it. I'm so glad that I went away for school and I would recommend it to a lot of people um, just to kind of learn a bit more about yourself, honestly, and about how you work and yeah, um, you're learning a lot of new things when you're living on your own about you know, cooking, buying your own groceries, doing your laundry, uh, maintaining a house, cleaning, you know, living with other people, working with other people. Um, yeah, that's why I chose to come here. It's, yeah, it's a smaller school, which is nice. I didn't want to go to a super, super big school. Our school is absolutely beautiful. We're outside of the city um, a little bit, so our school basically straddles um, a giant river that runs right through the middle of the campus and then all around it is all just fields and um, wildlife and nature so a lot of our labs because of environmental science there's a river literally running through campus so there's a lot of like water testing going on there water sampling for all of our labs um, and then there's a bunch of nature trails that are surrounding our entire campus so a bunch of labs that we've been doing we literally just walk out the door and then collect plants that are like right beside us go for hikes um, in like just all of the areas around campus so it's really cool it's honestly something that makes our campus so unique and it's just it's beautiful we have a really beautiful campus um which is so nice and then especially when you're in an environmental degree and you're actually studying it in nature like studying about nature in a place that's in the middle of a city downtown busy like toronto fine but it's so nice that we can be able to get to be able to study something that like we're passionate about and that we really love in an environment where we're surrounded by by nature so yeah um that's why i chose to come to this school i do live in a house with three other roommates so we live off campus um i did live on campus in res in first year which i absolutely love um i can do another video or something talking all about um living on campus versus living off campus and and the differences that come between that but yeah I guess the other thing that I will touch on but I don't want it to be a focus of this video because I can do other videos on it is um so I am a dancer and I've been dancing basically my whole life I think this will be like 
17 years now, so it's been a really huge part of my life. Um, and I'll, I'll do other videos just on dance for sure because I could talk about it forever. But um, I was on the school competitive dance team as well. So how that works is you basically go through two rounds of auditions um, and we have both a rec dance team and a competitive dance team. So the competitive team um, performs shows at the school and then we also travel around to different places around Ontario and compete against other universities. Um, and so that's another thing that I do that's kind of like, well obviously it's like about my school so that's another thing that I do to get involved with the school. But I can do more videos on Just Dance separately because, yeah, there's a lot that I could go into with that. Yeah, that's kind of all I have to say about my school. Um, just overall that I really love being in school. Um, I love why I'm here. I love studying. I love learning new things. I love meeting new people. Um, I love being really busy, working, dancing, doing school. Um, and everything else that that it encompasses being in university it's truly like one of the best the best times of my life um being here and i know that people say that and it's kind of like a cliche and you're like well i'm gonna have these four years and then it's just all going downhill blah, but which is so not true like obviously everything after this is going to be great too but it's just such an exciting time of your life and i think people need to need to realize that more and just need to be like happy about why we're here and what we're doing and how lucky we are to to truly be in school and um and at like a place like this and at this time in, in our lives so i mean i'm 20 years old and i've been learning so 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 much in the past I don't know a couple of years um, and now I'm excited that I get to to share that on 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 YouTube and hopefully have um, some followers through this journey and, and learning all of this stuff that um, that we go through in life at this time so yeah that's all I have to say about school so you can follow me on this journey and we can give you some nice tips about studying and living healthy and eating and gym and fitness and dancing i don't know everything um but those are my goals for this channel so i'm really excited to be sharing my life with you guys a little bit so i hope you liked this video i hope you've had a great week good luck to all of you that are working on final group projects and really big um essays and assignments right now if you're in university if you're in high school i hope you're having a great day regardless of where you are. If you're working, I hope your work day was good. Just staying productive and healthy and fit and avoiding the flu season because it's hitting everybody around here and it's ridiculous, I hate the flu. Yeah, I got it, I got it a, a couple weeks ago, which is a little bit sad, but yes, I hope you're all staying healthy and fit and happy. Remember to stay sunny and positive, just like my sweater, because that'll get us through these gloomy days in spring, but I'm so happy that the weather is getting nicer and warmer and it's staying lighter for longer and it's great. So go outside, enjoy the sun, take some breathers of some fresh air. Please don't work too, too hard, but remember to stay positive and, um, productive. Yeah, all of the P's. All of the P's that you have to do. Like this video, subscribe, comment down below, all that good stuff, and stay positive, stay happy, stay productive. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.